episode of All That Yaz broadcast. May marks the beginning of Mental Health Awareness Month. And this afternoon, I'd like to introduce everyone to Adina Crawford, who is a local meditation instructor hailing from Maryland um, in the DMV area. Adina, welcome. Please tell us a little bit about yourself. Thank you for having me. Um, my name is Adina Crawford, also known as Dini the Yogini. And I am a community influencer, very engaged in the community, getting people up and moving and active. Uh, I presently uh, work for a local law enforcement agency in the Maryland area as a manager. And my supplemental side thing is bringing people into fitness, which is yoga and meditation. Could you please tell us what is meditation and why is it important? Meditation is a mental exercise for relaxation and awareness. And it's really about connecting to your physical breath. So finding the space and time to connect is very important. What is the best time and place that someone can meditate? You can meditate just about anywhere. But my recommendation is the best time is to do it personally in the morning before you get up to go to wherever you're going to kind of get yourself centered for the day and be prepared for any onslaught of maybe negative energy, emotions or what have you. And another time to do it is just before you go to bed so you can have a restful sleep. So I understand that today you'll be giving us a little bit of a demo of how one can meditate. Um, and I'd like to invite you to take us through that, please. Absolutely. So what you want to first do is come into a quiet space. Allow all the negative energy and thoughts to leave your head. Eliminate all of them. And this particular meditation will leave you feeling happy. And so that you know that you are not your thoughts. So gently sit down or either stand up or lay down. Begin to shut your eyes down. Take a deep breath in. Fill up your lungs and your belly. And take a slow exhale out. And begin to do a full body scan from the top of your head to your shoulders, to your belly, to your feet. And begin to notice where any tension may lie. And in, in those areas, allow that tension to float away as a black cloud disappears behind the sky. Continue to take deep breaths in and slow exhales out deep breathing through your chest, your belly, and make the breathing something that you're doing effortlessly. So you're breathing in and slowly breathing out. It is so important to do these things, to be in connection with your own physical breath. Just listen to your breath as you breathe in and breathe out. And slowly allow your body just to calm down, rejuvenate, and slowly begin to open your eyes, become aware of your space, the sounds, the air, and your own breath. You can do this for about one minute to five minutes to 30 minutes, but stay in connection with your own physical breath. You are alive, you are awake. When uh, meditation is done, is it done seated or is it done lying down? What's the, the best way? that someone can position themselves? Well, I can tell you this. So there's several ways to do it. You can come to a seat in a chair. You can lay down and place a towel over your eyes. But if you're seated, have your feet firmly planted on the earth. 
If you're laying down, just come into like a still position with the towel over your eyes, body loose and limp. But if you're standing, just stand tall in a tall spine, roll your shoulders down and back, and just shut your eyes down for just a moment while you're doing the meditation. So you can do this about anywhere. So I have to say, even with that one minute demo that you just gave, I actually feel a lot better. Meditation definitely relieves stress. It helps you to get rid of, as I mentioned before, those negative thoughts. And it makes you feel happy because you are present in your space. And it's really all about coming from your heart and in your center. So it, it's a huge effect on the stress level for relieving that. So I recommend doing meditation, putting that in your mental health toolbox every day. Now, how did you become a meditation instructor? Well, because I'm certified through yoga, you know, a lot of the um, before and after um, quotes that we provide during class is something that has resonated with me. So I have just incorporated that into every class that I teach. I do a before meditation and I do an after meditation. So because in, in realistic life, when people come into a space, you don't know where they've been, where their head is, how they're feeling, if they've experienced trauma, you want them to be comfortable in the space that they're in for that time that they are with you. So I've just incorporated it in with my yoga. And from what I understand, meditation can be done by people of any age and of any fitness level. Absolutely. Absolutely. It doesn't matter if you're six years old all the way up to 99 years old. It is really about you and your space. And if you're willing to take that time out, just one minute, five minutes, 30 minutes or an hour, it's really what you put into it. So please tell me about how people can reach you, all of your handles. I know you're on Instagram, you're on Facebook. If you could please let people know how they can find you. Yes, um, they can find me on Facebook under Dini the Yogini for the love of yoga. Dini the Yogini spelled all together. And it's D-E-A-N-I-E the Yogini, Y-O-G-I-N-I. They can find me there. They can find me on Instagram at Mrs. Goody Two Shoes 53. And it's Mrs. M R S G O O D Y, the number two shoes 53. And on Twitter, Adina Crawford 19. There you've heard it, folks. The importance of meditation, a great way to kick off May, which is Mental Health Awareness Month. Thank you so much, Adina Crawford, for spending time with us this afternoon. And we will look forward to seeing you on Instagram and on Facebook as we follow your journey. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me.